Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth part of the CSS series. If you have no idea, then we are running a short series where we are walking you through step by step on how you can improve your funnels with CSS instead of ClickFunnels or similar softwares. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can convert your FAQ section from this to this. Alright, so this video is going to be divided in two parts where in the first part, I'm going to give you a quick fix uh, that you can simply copy and paste and you can get going. In the second part is going to be a bit longer where I'm going to walk you through on how you can further optimize it to make it even more beautiful. So that part would only be for the uh, serious funnel builders who are ready to improve and uh, get their funnels even more beautiful. So you can select which part you would want to watch. I will leave the timestamps below as well. So as you can see over here, there are two snippets, right? The first snippet is uh, CSS and the second one over here is HTML. Okay. So what we need to do is when we head on to the ClickFunnels dashboard, we will be creating a new section. So let's say you want to add the FAQs over here. Full width. Let's give it some spacing. Okay. Let's add one row and over here, scroll all the way down to custom uh, GS or uh, HTML. So GS basically stands for JavaScript and open the code editor. Then just copy the entire HTML snippet. Copy it and go back over here and paste it. Okay. That's the first part. The second section is go to custom CSS, copy the custom CSS snippet completely go back and paste it okay now let me just save it and let's say preview it this is how it's looking right now okay as you can see everything is working and it's cool how you can change the text it's very simple just open the javascript you see headline number one only change this particular section let's say the question is what is javascript type out your answer over here in this particular paragraph section open bracket and close bracket then the second question is how to use how to customize css and click funnels then type out your answer over here and so on and so forth if you do not want the remaining sections all you can do is just delete until where it starts the dividing class FAQC. Just delete that. Save it. And you can see there are only two questions. Let's say if you want to add more questions, again, the same process, just copy this from divide class FAQC to uh, until there are two divide closing, just paste it. You can paste as many sections as you want. So now let's say you want to change this color over here uh, of the particular text. So what we can do is we will go to custom CSS and over here, as you can see this T section FAQ T just change the color over here. So let's say you want to have a blue color or purple color. So we'll just copy the code color code and paste it over here. Now when we save and preview, as you can see, the color is changed. Okay. So let's say you want to have a left side border over here. If you want to have the same color over here, you can just do that over here. Custom CSS, just paste it on the FAQ C section over here. Let's add where this say, says uh, border left color and just paste the code over here, close it, save it and then hit preview as you can see this border shows up okay so that's how easy it is if you want to have another background on the right this is the same method just go to custom css where it says faqc just copy this part over here click enter paste it just change it to right right 
Right. Save it. Preview it. As you can see, uh, the color uh, comes up on both sides. Okay, so that's the first section. All right, so coming to the second part of this video. Now, we can optimize this particular section even further to make it look even more beautiful. Okay, now there are two things. The first thing is, if you want to change the questions and answers and all of those things, you can optimize that in the JavaScript section. But when it comes to design, you can improve the design in the custom CSS part. Okay, so you, you will not change anything over here, but over uh, uh, over on this section, which is custom CSS. Now, let's say you want to change the font of the particular uh, FAQs, right? So what you can do is you can just change the uh, font family over here. And let's say we want to go with Ubuntu. So you can just type in the name of the font, font family. And then uh, that's all. So this is the body font. So let's say that the answers. And this is the header ones. And let's say, so we just uh, save it. Let's preview it. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, as you can see, the font has changed, right? So let's say you want to change um, this point, which is on the left side, you want to keep it on the right. Okay, because mostly what happens is uh, the um, uh, the icon is on the right side right so what you can do is just head on to custom css head on to faq c part okay and then um just make it right aligned instead of left so faq t just make it right close it save it let's say preview it as you can see it's right aligned now okay so now let's say um, you want to change the background of each section over here okay let's say you want to change the background of this particular color make it different from white so what you can simply do is just head on to the last um, gradient button section that we did on the first video copy the entire code on the, uh, that's within the bracket copy it then head back to the css custom css part head on to FAQ C section and then just paste everything within the bracket. Okay, close it, save it, and then we can preview it. And as you can see, the background of this has changed to a gradient. Looks cool, right? But um, the borders, just because of the border, it doesn't match, but we can also change the text color. So if you want to change the um, text color, then what you can do is just head on to the FAQ like the question thing and just change the color code over here which is like let's just do white which is fffff and the answers section which is all f okay so when we close it save it let's preview it and as you can see the color has changed to white okay so that's how yeah that's how easy it is to optimize this particular section if you want to change the back uh, shadow again you can go to css matic change the sh shadow from here uh, let's say you want to have more um, not that sharp background because what we have over here at this part it is very sharp right so it's visible what we can do is we can decrease it let's say css matic decrease it blur it a bit opacity decrease the opacity and this is what we need to have and then copy that and go to custom css again over here this section as you can see webkit box shadow just change that to copy and paste save it and when we preview it As you can see, the shadow has changed. Okay. All right. So now let's say you want to change this particular element over here, which is the plus icon, right? So you can even change that, but um, provided that you can only use things or the or different uh, elements from your keyboard. Okay. So how you can do that? Just head on to the HTML script, open the code editor. This particular section over here, 
is where you can change that so let's say you want to have this icon okay, which is like just a minus sign close it save it and you can preview it just scroll down and as you can see it's already added over here okay so um, another thing that you can do over here is that you can change um, the padding over here so let's say it's very close to the edge what you can do is just increase the padding just click go to custom CSS um, and go to the uh, FAC, FAQC section padding left increase that to 15 close it save it and as you preview it and as you can see the padding has increased okay so uh, as you can see over here the the, the difference or the uh, gap between all the questions it's not much if you want to increase that you can even do that from here go to custom css again faqc increase the margin so let's say you want to have 15 or 13 let's say save it preview it and as you can see the gap has increased let's say the length of this is too big you want to decrease the length just go and select the uh, row element over here go to settings and decrease the width uh, we can also increase the size of the font a bit because some CSS FAQs okay the answer font let's say you want to have 24 and for questions you will have to comply let's see how it looks okay this is too big we can decrease the size a bit let's say FAQ section change it to 1.5 and the answers let's say we want to have 18 close it preview it let's see how it looks okay now it looks good right so this is this looks too big so you can decrease and increase the size as you would want so that's how easy it is to customize um, an FAQ section and make it even more beautiful that will be all for this video. I know this was a lot, but there's a lot you can do over here as well. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and keep creating for a change.